Hey guys, George from Soundtracks here, and in this month's customer newsletter, we're going to talk about our upcoming shows and visits with some store demos that are coming up here in the next few months. We're also going to talk about our tech tip, talking about cylinder cocks and how they really work on a locomotive so that you can implement that better in your railroad. And one other thing I wanted to mention is last month we were spent a couple of days up with our friends at Trainmasters TV, and we did a bunch of segments for them that'll be airing over the next few months. So be sure to visit trainmasters.tv and check out those links of DCC Decoded where you can see a little bit more in depth of operation and setup of how the Tsunami 2 decoders work. Have you ever been rail fanning a steam locomotive and you see these nice pillowy billows of steam coming out from under the cylinders of the locomotive? Well these are coming from the cylinder cocks and in this month's tech tip we're going to talk about Tsunami 2's use of the cylinder cocks. So first off, what are cylinder cocks? Now the cylinder cocks are two little valves that are located on the bottom of the piston and the cylinder. And what this does is this allows water that's condensated after the locomotive is set for a little bit of time to be blown out because water as it's condensated isn't able to be compressed as easily. And so what happens is as that water condensates, if the piston were to move close to the cylinder head, and there really isn't much clearance between that, if that water is condensated, it can potentially blow the cylinder head off, and you don't really want to be doing that, especially on the road. So what cylinder cocks allow the locomotive engineer to do is to open that out and use the steam pressure to blow that condensated water out of the cylinder. Now, with the Tsunami 2, we can do that in multiple ways. First off, we're going to grab our throttle, and you can do this with just simply pressing and activating the F4. So before we get moving, we're going to open the cylinder cocks as we apply our throttle. We're going to start moving, and you can kind of hear how that will play. Now, once I get going a good period of time, we take the F4, and we can turn it off, and then we can move our locomotive. Now, the other method is you can have this sound trigger automatically as your locomotive starts. So to do that, you can take CB198 and set it to a value of 8, and that's going to enable the auto cylinder cock so that when your locomotive starts to move, it's going to automatically open those cylinder cocks. And then CB199 lets you determine how long the cylinder cock sound will play after the locomotive started. So the CB value is set in seconds. So by setting CB199 to a value of 7 for 7 seconds, let's see how this works. So we're going to get our locomotive moving. That's speed step 3. And after seven seconds, the sound automatically goes away. So one other thing that the Tsunami 2 allows you to do that not all the competitors allow you to do is to activate the cylinder cocks while your locomotive is moving. On occasion, it happens where the fireman may accidentally overfill the boiler and get water into the dry pipe. And what that means is now you've got raw water, which again cannot be compressed, running through the pipes that will now be sent to the, the cylinders. And so what you don't want to do is cause that to blow the cylinder head off while you're running. So while your locomotive is moving, you can simply activate the F4 to open the cylinder cocks while your locomotive is moving. And then you can just simply turn it off again when you've got that water blown out through the system. Hey guys, we've got a few shows coming up here. First up, we'll be in Kansas City for the National Model Railroad Association Convention, the NMRA National Train Show. Now, we'll be giving clinics Wednesday the 8th and Thursday the 9th, and then we'll have the National Train Show will be the 10th through the 12th set up in Kansas City. So if you can make it out there, be sure to come by and say hi.